Holy, 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 holy cow. My goodness, we made it. And with that, Councilman Cedric Creer summed up the excitement, the honor, and the feeling of relief that the historic Westside Legacy Park is officially open. The grand opening ceremony was held December 4th. This unique park could be described as an outdoor museum, a walk through the history of the West Side and the trailblazers who helped build this community, our city, and in many ways, the country. This joint project between the city of Las Vegas and Clark County was the dream of Councilman Creer and former County Commissioner Lawrence Weekly. We caught up with Councilman Creer just before the ceremony began. This is the opening of our historic West Side Legacy Park. We have been planning this for over year. Uh, this is in partnership with the county. Uh, my old friend, my good friend, Commissioner Weekly, and I started this project. We're going to bring it to fruition with Commissioner McCurdy. Uh, today's an opening. We are honoring 36 wonderful people every year. We're going to add a few more people. And we're just excited with the fact that we get to honor these wonderful individuals that have done so much for our community. We took time to walk the park with Laura Machado of the city's Office of Cultural Affairs early on this special day. She talked about the hard work that went into making this not only a peaceful and beautiful space, but one that teaches thanks to local residents and historians. Chase McCurdy, Jackie Brantley, Brenda Williams, and Clay T. White, they all work together to really curate the images that we have here and work on the content. And I think that they were really thoughtful about wanting to make sure that the community was represented. And they did not shy away from the struggles faced by those pioneers. We have here a picture of the Moulin Rouge that is a well-known, famous casino in the historic West Side. And then a meeting of individuals also um, in a coffee shop to end segregation on the Las Vegas Strip. You also have, a, you know, an iconic image here of the Welfare Rights Organization March on the Strip in 1971. Um, a really pivotal moment. Aside from the interpretive walking trail through history, there's public art, sitting areas, a small playground, and of course, these markers highlighting the lives of the 36 honorees. Brenda Williams and her late husband, Monroe, are members of this very distinguished inaugural group. Absolutely proud, honored. Uh, I have a great deal of gratitude for the city uh, and for everybody that's made contributions to this park. Never in my life, having grown up on the west side, did I ever think that we'd have anything of this magnitude. When the ceremony got underway, one community leader after another took to the stage to praise this historic occasion. This is so awesome for us to be here today and for you to be here today to witness the inaugural induction of such wonderful people in our community. Our younger generation has to understand this. You owe the grandparents and the great Pam grandparents and everybody that's no longer with us, but maybe in a better place, but to make this community shine like it never has before. We are the products of excellence. We are products of brilliance. For far too long, people have talked about our community as if we didn't have the ho same hopes and aspirations and visions as any other community throughout this valley. And I know as a product of this community that we are great. Before the crowd dispersed, there was one more feature of the park unveiled. Three, <laughs> two, one. All right. Woo! This bronze statue of President Barack Obama, the 44th president of the United States and the first African American to hold the office. The historic West Side Legacy Park is a place to find peace, to learn and to honor those who have led the way for today's leaders and leaders of tomorrow. When you walk around this park here today, everybody, and you look at those markers, say their names. Say their names. Let it ring out to the heavens how much we appreciate what they've done.